Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we are definitely changing the wall texture just to, uh, you know, see that how actually it looks. So definitely let's again open the reference image over here. So now what I'm going to do over here is like, I've just taken this as a bit of a lighter color. and see now it looks much better with this color so now what I'll be doing over here is like uh, let's just scale a bit and if you require that for example if you think that this looks much better with this texture so we can definitely go with that so we have this texture over here we can just assign that particular texture so you can just go into this and just give a UVW map cylinder and you can just fit it select this just give a UVW map again cylinder X and just fit that's it UVW map and just give it as a box so now what we'll be doing over here is like uh, we'll be definitely assigning a V-ray fog over here how we can do that is like you can just go into this atmospheric apparatus and let's take a gizmo so what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be taking a gizmo over here which will be covering of some of the area over here where you want the light to be so definitely we'll be just uh, increasing that gizmo area over here into that after that let's go into rendering let's go into environment and let's uh, add V-Ray environmental fog so once you add this V-Ray environmental fog you can make some changes over here you can just give any color to the environmental fog over here so if you want you can do some changes you can So you can increase and decrease this values that's your fog distance you can just increase to 100 if you want we can go with the scatter bounce as 2 over here uh, first of all what I'll do is I'll just go into the unit setup and I'll just set it to generic units that would be much better so I'll just set this to 2500 500 centimeter this is what your subdivision subdivisions you can increase it step size we'll keep it as five okay so let's go down and after going down what i can do over here is like uh, definitely i need to add a gizmo so i can just add a i'm sorry you need to add a gizmo not this so we can just remove it you can add a box gizmo over here and you need to add a V-Ray Sun so once you add this over here you can go into this and off this effect GI over here and let's just render it so what we'll be doing over here is like we'll be adding one more 
will be adding one more Vire environmental fog. So let's add it again. Vire environmental fog over here. Let's go down. Let's give a fog color and reduce the distance to 1000. Set make it as 50 over here and again add that's the second very environmental fog just give a color set the fog distance to 1000 scatter bounce Oh, sorry your fog height as 50 go down add so box gizmo add the light again over here so once you added this again and let's just render and see So you can just increase or decrease the distance, the fog distance and let's render it. So if you go into this for the first we environmental fog we have this variations if you on this let's just render it again let's select this light and let's again go into this select the light and increase the intensity multiplier 0 0.5 and let's render it and see we definitely see a bit of fog should be visible so first uh, with Vira environmental fog will off this effect GI and with the second one we'll keep this with effect gi if you reduce this render it again i think just because of a glass maybe let's just render it again yes so it's actually affecting if you look at it properly so let's render it again all right it looks much better so let's again go back to the perspective view over here and uh, increase its fog distance over here let's render it again so rendering render setup and if you go into this and if you off the GI and let's render and see how it looks like okay so now it's giving you a fog effect because we are off the GI over here and let's see how it looks like after deactivating the GI option over here
okay so just select this light again over here and let's just reduce its intensity multiply to 0.3 over here let's go back to the camera view definitely have off this gi option over here so but still you will see that there is a lot of noise we need to work with the noise parameter also we can go with that let's just render and see how it looks you see the noise because of your material subdivisions we need to increase the subdivision of the materials that can be done so if you look at it very closely you see that there is a lot of fog coming inside see that that's your very environmental fog but the fog is uh, very very high so we can definitely reduce that stuff if you require a fog you can give the fog not a problem you can see that the fog value is really high so let's just render this so i'll just keep this over here for now now let's go into rendering again render setup over here and if you see over here we have uh, deactivated this stuff over here let's go into rendering and let's go into the environment part again over here you have two environmental fogs if you just delete it one and still you will render it you will see that you will get the fog a bit much lesser than the previous one see this this looks much better see this so your gi environment is off yet but still you can see a bit of fog light coming inside and this noise can definitely be uh, you know reduced we can do that by increasing the subdivisions of materials also from the material editor also that can be managed so this okay so let's just uh, let's just save this just save it okay i'll just save this stuff now what i will do over here is like uh, i'll just uh, i'll make a region i'll just make a region over here for the rendering part whatever we'll be doing over here now now what i will do is like uh let's go into the material again let's go into the material before that into the render settings if you go into the render settings on the top let's go on to the top you have this option that is called use local subdivisions just activate this and let's set this subdivisions to 8 after that let's go into the material 
if you go into the material you have the subdivisions which are activated so if you activate this local subdivisions the subdivisions will get activated and you can increase the subdivisions to 16 but before making this uh, increase the subdivisions you see that your duration of rendering will increase a lot so if you are going to increase the subdivisions let me tell you again one more time that if you increase the subdivisions the render time is going to increase so i am increasing its individual subdivisions of all the materials over here so what i am actually doing is like i am going over here and i am just increasing the uh, subdivisions of the materials so definitely we have increased it so definitely you will not get any of the noise over here so I'm increasing the subdivisions over here also so I'm doing this for all this all of this so the time duration will increase it And also there would be one more setting which I'll be showing you in the render settings you don't want for this. I'll be showing you how, what we can do for that. The render time is going to get increased over here once you increase this settings over here. So once you're done over here, uh, you can off this, you can go over here. Already you have set the noise threshold as 0.01. Let's go into this uh, GI option. You can go into this down into the light cache. Okay. So you see that the subdivisions definitely is not increased over here because we have not enabled the GI option. So you first enable the GI option. If I increase its subdivisions to it's around let's keep it as 2000 and if I just off this and let's render it you will see that there would be a reduction in the noise after you have rendered it You can see the difference over here. The noise has tremendously reduced over here. So it's definitely going to take a longer time. So you see this stuff, if you zoom it you will see the difference, see the difference. 
so definitely rendering the whole thing will take a longer time maybe more than half an hour so definitely i'll be showing you the final output of it definitely we need to generate the passes also see this see the difference you can directly judge the difference between this and this so as you can see that the noise portion over here has been gone off okay so i'll just escape it i'll, I'll definitely show you the final render so now what we'll be doing over here is like i'll just skip it over here and if you just on this again if you on this again you go into gi and if you just enable it and let's render it let's see so you see that uh, you won't see that environmental fog so when you're using that environmental fog so you can again go into this vray environmental fog and you can off the on this and if you render it then you can see that it should affect with the gi option so you can activate this also if you want So if I'm using environmental fog over here, I'll go into this, into the V-Ray Sun, effect GI off and enable GI and render it again. Okay. All right. So let it render. So definitely I'll show you the final output of it, whatever settings we have done right now over here. So let me tell you again that I have taken a gizmo over here. I took the effect that is a very environmental fog. I set some changes in the environmental fog. Effect GI, I have set it as off over here. I went into GI. I made some increase in the subdivisions. I enabled GI and I increase the light cache amount over here I off this again the GI option and will render it and I'll show you the output of it so guys if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section over here so we'll be definitely taking out the passes in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial